Hello and welcome to another episode of our Unknown to Icon series. I am Duper Daddy and in today's episode we continue our drive with Brackley Town. Just finished season one, which we will just go through for tail end because I left you with a few games to go. We had turned around our season in our last episode. We went through a seven game losing streak to finding the right tactic, turning us into a contender to get promotion next season. But I've had to get rid of the Deadwood out of our team and bring in some good players. Right, instead of me talking away and telling you about it, let's just jump into the game, shall we? In last episode, as I just said, we played Telford United. We won that. I had to change to my attacking formation. And that's not good enough sometimes, especially if that was at home. We was losing 1-0 and I had to change it around. It paid off and we won the game. I want a formation that is going to drive me and win me games. If you look at our four games after, we didn't lose. And actually that meant that we went on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 games unbeaten to end the season with amazing my biggest concern was defending let's start from here so one nil one all conceded four one conceded so we didn't so our last clean sheet was when it all started on this turnaround but one all four one three two two one three two two all three two two all it's just a lot of goals conceded and i think a lot of those games i was starting with that normal formation cautious approach i also was experimenting with it as well to try and find actually what is a tactic i can start with instead of changing into this attack all right so i've loaded up our previous formation which was for tottenham cautious version two that's how we changed our season around and then obviously we was using attack if we go goal down or we just need to try and get a win and it was working really well for us I was playing with the tactics of those last four games of the season, and this is what I've created. As you can see, a little bit different. Okay, and we'll go for it now. So goalkeeper, sweep, keeper, defense. Now is just goalkeeper defense. Wing backs, we had full back defense. Now we're pushing them up a little bit more. So they're both support. And then we had center backs, uh, they remain the same. Defense midfielder, he stays the same. Mez, box to box midfielder, stays the same. And now uh, for wingers, they are now attacking. And then DLF is DLF attack still. And my goalkeeper and my centre backs, I'm telling them to take fewer risks. And my Mez take more risks. So playing balance, stop game of balance, not positive or cautious. Waste time sometimes. Okay, so we did have it as frequently. Now we have it sometimes. And I think that's the only difference here. More attacking, more support play. Don't know why I'm whispering. It's a secret. That's why I'm whispering. No, it's not. Copy it. Make tweaks. Don't just use it. I mean, use it. See if it works. Never know. And this is our preseason. As you can see, five greens. Great preseason. Beat Chef Wednesday on to 21s. Amazing. So we played four away games. I mean, it's no one special. Apart from Chef Wednesday under 21s. In this episode, we are going to play our first game of the season against Hereford. Well, let's do transfers out first. So end of last season, we got rid of Calder. We got rid of Youssef. Free transfer puts. He's gone. These players just was not performing well. And if we jump over to our outs here as well. Rooney's gone. Colbert's gone. I don't know if it shows you who we released. Didn't offer new contracts to. Because they're all gone too. It only tells you who we got rid of in terms of that way. But that's fine. Yeah, I thought it might have just come as free transfer. Or is that all we got rid of? No, we got rid of a lot more. And um, we loaned our youngster, Colbert, for 2.3 thousand fee. I think wages was low anyway. Didn't play that well, 6.8. I mean, for his age, it was okay. But I think I changed his... Ah, oh, that's it. I changed in pre-season. I changed his playing time. I basically said, no, you're a squad player. You're not a first teamer. And he got upset. So I've loaned him out. So yeah, so let's have a look at these players quickly. Brendan Halton, our new left back, 22 years old. So he's playing fullback support. Greens are for key. And this is what I was looking at. 9, 9, 8, 11, 11, 10, 10, 9. And then he's got some pace, stamina, and it's just a bit of an all-rounder. He was playing for Chesterfield National League. Didn't really play that much, but before then he played 20 games in League One. So he's got some sort of potential and experience already being so young. And then we brought in Cole John, our right back. I think I was always saying that we need to improve our right backs, our left backs. So green. So Markin's not so good, but he offers us the speed, crossing abilities, leadership. If we just could jump to history, he's a Everton youth. So will he have some sort of premiership pedigree there? 
Never know. And then we jump to Oliver Pendleberry. We put him as a box to box on his stat. And as you can see, not for greatest on tackling, but he offers us again, looking at a little bit bigger picture. 12 passing, really good for this league. First touch, amazing. Teamwork, work rates okay. Off the ball's okay. Good stamina, box to box, that's what you want. Natural fitness, again, bit of acceleration about him. Pace, I just thought he's going to be a good midfielder. And then we go into the other side of the summer, our goalkeeper, Grant Smith. He's 29 years old. I don't want to bring in too much of a youngster, but look at his stats. I mean, we're playing him as a goalkeeper defence. Look at that. 14, 13, 11, 12, 12, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 9, 12. Really, really good. I got him for on a free, obviously. But he played for National League team. 22 games, conceded 27. He didn't play great average rating, but I think that's really, really good. And if he can play better, I mean, surely it's a league above. It's dropping down a league. And then we bring in our centre-back. Again, if we go central defence, 13, 13, 11. That is your core defence Things he's 19 years old, position 11. It's all double digits in greens. And then for others, aren't too bad. Composure's not for greatest and aggression for, as a centre back, but he has good potential to be good for us. And we brought him in from another Premier League Youth Academy, Wolves. So bringing in some good pedigree here. And then Jack Turner, who is our Mez, who will be replacing our record goal scorer, Armson. He's 33 years old. And I just want to refresh on my team. I didn't want to get rid of him, but when I was looking at it, I was like, well, he's a bit of a weak link now, now that I've improved my team. And I saw him and I was just like, I've got to bring him in. Look at his stats. Nine passing, 11 technique, 14 work rate, off the ball 11, 14 acceleration. Again, near to all double digits on, I think, high numbers, 20 years old. And we brought him from another Premier League team, Southampton, another good youth academy. Then it doesn't stop there. We bring in Trent Ra Randall. He's our backup right back and not a bad backup. Not a bad backup at all. And we bring him in from QPR. He did play 26 games down at this division before, but on the south border, obviously. And then we bring in Fabio Kierbonda, a spare striker. Is he on loan? Yeah, he's on loan. So he's from Stockport County. And I just thought, you know what? Don't think savings. I love that name. I'm just calling him savings. Don't think he was good enough. And I just thought, you know what? If I'm going to bring someone in, he's got to have good dribbling, good finishing and pace. And that's exactly what we've got here. So he's from Stockport. He played for Bradford PA in our league uh, last season. He only played a couple of games. But we'll see. We'll see. He's 18 years old. I'm not expecting fireworks, but I think he could be a good impact. And then we needed to bring in a spare left back because we've loaned out Colbert. I brought this guy in. Again, nothing special, but I think he could just do a job as a backup. So that's my transfers. I was very busy across the preseason. We played really well. It's really clicking. Our new tactic, our new players, it's just going really well. And this is why I'm really excited for the season ahead. Can we do something special this season? We will just have to wait and see, I guess. So a quick look at our next game. We're playing Hereford. It's at our ground, so we won't look at their stadium. But what is their expectation? That's what I'm looking for. Where are they expected? I thought it might just be here, if like their season expectation for the league. It doesn't quite tell me that. I guess I need to go into the league and go to season preview. And Hereford are... Hereford are all the way down at 20th. That's a good way of doing it. In future, I'll just jump to this screen instead of to the club screen because it brings up quite a lot. So they brought in quite a lot of players. A lot of players, wow. And then they got rid of two. So they've got quite a big squad now. Or they just had a really tight squad beforehand. Should we jump into a game? Let's do it. Right, so Jones, he's out suspended. Suspension from last season. So we are going to put in... He's a right back, isn't he? Yeah, so that'd be Flanagan. And Asante's injured. Luckily, not too long. I think that's probably why. Yeah, Chef Wednesday, that's why I rushed out and got another striker in. That Kibonda. And Kibonda is going to start. Could play Stead. Who's our spare for Stead? Oh, yeah, Sakura, he's played well, right, hasn't he? Maybe we do that. Move Stead. And then we play Sakura. He had a good preseason. Did see his name pop up a couple of times. So, again, not the best team in the world in stars, but main thing is we're playing well and tactic is working well let's see and that day it was just a pre-season right let's go and see uh this is match we should be winning 
make sure we do. All right, first game of the season, we're at home. So that's always a good thing. I need to now zoom all the way out. All right, we've got for ball. York's got for ball. He turns, gets in the box. No one there. So yeah, Sante would have been on to that. He was on fire in pre-season and he's considering his options. So basically that tells me if we don't get promoted, he's going to leave. He won't sign a new contract. And I think our on loan striker, I only brought him in for a month. So short-term loan. Never know if he does well. Always try and turn it into a long term and keep him as that impacts up. Ooh. All right, promising start, four minutes, and we've had quite a few chances already. Oh, and for finance budget. So I brought in all these players and they look rather tasty. Our team's in a better place for that we was last year. My budget was really high. I think we're about two grand a week below our budget. Just to put it into perspective, that is freaking amazing. And if we get in playoffs or we win it, wow. Or it goes the other way and you can complain or going, well, if we get mid-table, why didn't I spend for budget on better players? Go. Oh, unlucky. Uh, Turner with the corner. Short to York. York runs into a box. Crosses it into Pendleberry. And Pendleberry didn't get the try. Yeah, uh, stats. So we've had eight shots, five on target. That's not bad ratio. Happy with that. We've had three, one on target. Okay, possession. We're holding 5% more possession. We've had seven fouls. Oh, Turner's through. Can he score? Oh, well over. 16 shots to their four. And no goals either side. Maybe we need to play into box now. Don't waste time and play higher tempo. I'm not going to change anything else because in possession, I think it's about in possession. When we've got the ball, we're creating, but we're not creating the chances that we need to. So maybe we need to play faster and work ball into box. Now, whether we need to play narrow or more wider, I will look out for that. Keep going. We can win this if you work hard. Yes. Go on, John. Our right back. No, couldn't get through. It's a thing. We're looking to pass into uh, work ball into box. And we, if we can't do it, we go backwards. And that gave them a great opportunity. Smith's safe hands. Are we missing Asante? Oh, yeah. He was on fire. Can I make a change in a minute? Ooh, unlucky. Good chance. Good shot. Change. We're doing 10 is not playing great. And I don't have a player to take off. Maybe we could go Randall. They like that. Actually, I'll do that for a sec. So if we was to take Randall off and take Flanagan off, for instance, if we look on for the left-hand side, it gives you for stat differences what we're looking for. So Randall's got heading 8, 11, 11, 14. Barkin's pretty poor and strength's pretty poor. Hmm. Maybe we don't make that change. I do love that over there. Ridrington, maybe we could tweak it that Pendleberry drops down there. Oh, no, doesn't like that. Do I have a defence midfielder? I'll have to keep Ridrington on for the moment then. Stead's playing all right, so that means that Stead's going to be moved back to the left with Skura coming off for our super sub. Mm. Made a mistake of bringing, uh, having a left back and a right back. Okay, just one change. All right, Turner, can you find it to Stead? Finds it through. What can Stead do? Obviously, has a crack because there's no one supporting him. Oh, I don't know about you, but it's getting quite boring. And for the amount of shots that we've had, if we now go on and lose this 1-0, we're not going to be that happy. 23 shots, 9 on target. That last 20 minutes, I've seen enough. We're for a better team. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bring it on. Omerson for Windrington, because we know Windrington wasn't playing that well. Bring him on as a... Taking advanced playmaker. Now, a bit more, uh, maybe support. So that we have a support trio, support, support at wide, and then attack from all over. And then I'm thinking, ah, uh, yes, uh, standard defense line, and just take off that. Do we go press trigger? Can we do something here? Armson into Pendleberry, Turner. Turner's looking, Flanagan, can he get out right to Halton? No, he tries doing something stupid. I swear I've got few risks. Take fewer risks as well. Come on. Oh, and down for what? Rip. Got loads of players up there. Into Turner. Turner has a shot. No surprise. We didn't miss. We're missing Asante. Ball in. Is that a penalty? Yeah, I let Armson take it. 
the most experienced on for pitch. Come on, Armson. Yes. Oh my god, 89th minute bloody penalty after all those shots. What a boring game. And it looks like it's going to be all over. Oh, well, poor header backwards. I was going to say, can we cope with the pressure? <laughs> you can see them scoring. That whole game, Smith, Smith. The whole game goes 89 minutes without a goal. And then two in the last four minutes. And now, oh, come on. Blow that whistle. Want for three points. Stead through. Cross us in. Kabonda. On his debut. Brilliant. 2 0, it's over. I'll take that. But still, should have scored earlier. What's the stats of people having heart attacks playing football manager? Am I going to be one of those people? Oh, look at that. Poof. Won it. 2 0. Oh my God. We've got work. If Asante was on, I reckon we would have won this 4-0. Uh, nice work, everyone. That was good. I mean, we won 2-0. Clean sheet. Clean sheets? We continue out on being run in the league as well. What was it? Eight or nine games end of last season? And we continue it. So it's even now ninth or tenth game. And we're on playoffs. Woohoo. First game of the season. Good stuff, baby. Ah, oh, and breathe. A lot to go through in this episode. But we did it. End of last season. Went on our unbeaten run. Brilliant. Tweaked our tactics, brought in seven, eight players. Our best player who had a great preseason. He played four games in preseason and he scored seven goals and he assisted three. Obviously, he got injured, brought in a loan. He scored on his debut. <sighs> impact sub, impact sub. Will he be that impact sub? We might have to extend his loan. We will see. Main thing is we won our first game of the season. We've set that milestone. Tick, done. Let's move on. I'm going to go away, play some games in the background. If an important game comes around, I will record it and get ready for another episode. So don't miss that. Do what you need to do. If you like it, like it. If you want to see more, give it a subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.